year 5 chapter 6 wait what's what's wrong with the volume where is the I think that's Diego. Do you uh, happen to have a wide eye potion? I was up all night dueling and now I need to study for my owl. Oh, it should have been the other way around. Diego, I mean. <laughs> oh, Jay. Hi, oh, Jay. I usually only see that ghost in the kitchens. Which ghost? Oh, right, the fat fire, of course. Oh, there he is. Hi, Tongs. You just missed me doing a brilliant pins impersonation. Lots of screeching and squawking. I can't believe you've never met the Hufflepuff Howl Ghost, the fat flyer. Yeah, I know, right? Especially since I'm a Hufflepuff. I know, I can't tell how many times I've just missed him in the Hufflepuff common room. He is faster than he looks. Yeah, just like me. <laughs> Hopefully he knows something that can help us find the next world and save our siblings. He talks to everyone from the teachers to the other house posts. So he always knows what's happening at Hogwarts. <laughs> I go to the fat fryer whenever I have a especially difficult problem and he's always happy to help. Hi! <laughs> yeah. Ah, Penny Hayward, one of my favorite Hufflepuffs. I trust you've been helping your classmates to be as kind, joyful and generous as yourself. I usually try Fat Fryer, but it's been hard with what's happened to my sister. Ah, poor Beatrice, filled with such energy and enthusiasm. I have no doubt that she's strong enough to persevere until we find a way to help. You only need to have faith, Penny. I hope you're right. I want you to meet Sarahi. Her sibling is in trouble too. Hi, I'm Sarahi Silvers. Oh, I know who you are, Sarahi. I know every Hufflepuff in Hogwarts by name, face or spirit. You and your experts are a regular topic of conversation among the other house ghosts. I mean the house ghosts. Do you know anything about the Marauder's Map or a friend of thieves who hated my brother? Nothing comes to mind immediately. Oh. <laughs> Don't despair, Sarai. Like you and Penny, the fat flyer does not give up easily. Let's discuss everything in greater detail. I'm sure I'll be able to help. I like the fat flyer. I wish I could provide you with more answers. I'm confident, however, that if you're searching for the Marauder's Map, nearly headless Nick can be of help. Wait, Nick is a coward? Why would I say that? Yeah, Nick is always helpful. And nearly headless Nick is always helpful. He accompanied me on a search through the entire castle once. Indeed, I sometimes wonder why he wasn't put in Hufflepuff. <laughs> I'm certain Nick has made mention of marauders before. Thank you for your help, Fat Fryer. Think 
nothing of it, Sarahi. I am a Hufflepuff and this is what we do. I like this guy so much. Meet myself and your Gryffindor friends in your brother's room. Mystery about Puns. Or what did I don't I Okay, uh, wait, Ben didn't come? He's also Gryffindor. Meh. This room needs a proper cleaning. Mum would not approve. This Percy just... Okay. I should really be studying for my nudes. Well then, go study. Why are you here? I wonder if your brother found anything on dragons while researching the cursed walls. Charlie, for real. Can you, Bill and Percy, can you do this? Please have an intervention for him. And why is Cabbers here? Was that really necessary? What the? Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. <coughs> yeah, where was I? And why is Cabbers here? Was that really necessary, Percy? What are you doing in my brother's room, Nick? That's kind of a rude question, MC. <coughs> Fat Friar told me you're searching for the Marauder's Map. <laughs> I was contemplating the matter within earshot of the eldest Weasley when he said something quite fascinating. <sighs> All I did was mention my brother. <laughs> Which reminded me of Sarahi's brother. Do you see where this is going, Sarahi? No. Not really. Neither did I. <laughs> but just then, the middle Weasley said something which spurred my recollective ma ma machinations. Machinations? What? Yeah. There's six or so. I'm not being able to read today. <clears throat> There's six of us, so I am less in the middle than I am second oldest. I see your point. Young Charles mentioned a dragon. He is always mentioning dragons. Which reminded me that Sarahi's brother believed there was a dragon somewhere in this castle. Okay, if there was a dragon in the castle, I... Is there? See? Only Sarahi's brother knows because only he had a map that revealed the entirety of Hogwarts. Hey, that's the Marauder's map. <coughs> and... Why is Percy here? But how does Percy play into all of this? I'm fairly certain he just followed us here. He is basically Bill and Charlie's chaperone now. Uh. The better question is, why did he have to bring that rat? Yeah, that is exactly what I am asking, Percy. Why did he have to bring Scabbers? Uh. Scabbers is a part of the family. Uh. So is the hole in the attic, but I don't bring him with me everywhere I go. You know, it makes more sense for Percy to bring scabbers than it is to make get a goal. Charlie, you know why? Because a goal is big. <sighs> Enough of your quibbling, Weasleys. Proud Gryffindors such as ourselves must rise above such pettiness. Uh, no offense, Sarahi. Being a Hufflepuff is also nice. <laughs> None taken. So, you think the Marauder's Map is somewhere in this room? I can't say for certain, but I do believe your brother was in possession of the map at one time. Uh. <clears throat> I doubt anyone could find anything in here with it being so dark and dirty. Percy just... Okay. Lumos. I mean, I agree with you on the light thing, but we don't have time to clean this place. It looks even filthier in the light. Percy! Says the bloke who brought a rat. <laughs> I bathe him every morning. Wow. Let's just search for the Marauder's map. You three can argue later. <laughs> we might find a dragon. Charlie, where the hell are we going to find a dragon in this teeny tiny room? <coughs> Sometimes this boy is completely devoid of sense.
He tried to bite me. Wait, why would Scabbers try to bite me? I'm just going to pretend like I don't know scabbards is actually, you know, we all know. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to pretend I don't know that. Actually. Does your head of house know about this room? I would rather not tell Professor Sprout. Interesting. <laughs> Is it the map? No, it's a letter in my brother's handwriting. It talks about him bringing a map to Olivia Green. <sighs> Never heard of her. She was a student in your brother's year. I remember her for her exemplary bravery. She was a Gryffindor? You would think so, but she was actually a Ravenclaw. Oh, you should pay a visit to the Grey Lady. Oh, but she doesn't talk. Like, at all. <coughs> Wait, why is she like just standing with her face towards the wall? That, that makes no sense. I know she likes to be alone, but... Well... You have to play it cool around the Grey Lady, Sarahi. Uh huh. Hi, Talbot. The Grey Lady might be the only person at Hogwarts who says less than me. Yeah, you know, actually. Let me do the talking, Sarahi Silvers. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello, Madam uh, Grey Lady. And I'm talking in my baby voice again. But that's how I talk to new people. And adults. And professors. Okay. Madam Grey Lady. Hello. Uh. Nothing. She won't talk to you, Sarai. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Some people say she can't talk at all. She talks to Ravenclaw sometimes. Getting her to speak to you for the first time can be very difficult. I can talk to her for you, but I've heard that she get, can get uncomfortable around Quidditch players. Why? I'm not sure. I've heard that maybe she thinks I'm brutish. You're a fashion bloke! Um, oh, uh... Well, I can talk to her, but it might not go so well. I accidentally startled her once. I can't imagine why. Pun intended. She whispered something about the forest and floated through the wall. Well, I'm sure she'll talk to me, but I did upset her once. What did you say? She overheard me talking about a trick I pulled on my mum and she just started sobbing. Oh, I don't understand. Ah. Neither do I. I tried to apologize, but it only made her cry more. Which one of us should talk to the grey lady for you? Uh, Tulip, go. I think Tulip. She's clever enough to work her way out of anything. Hmm. Don't worry, Sarai Silvers. The grey lady will talk to me. Uh, Are you sure? Excuse me, we wanted to ask you a question about a former Ravenclaw. Uh, She'll never trust you again. What? Olivia Green? We've never even met. Have you apologized? What? Wait, are you talking about my mum when I said I tricked her when I was younger? Have you apologized? 
I didn't. I made it up. I wanted to impress my classmates, make them think I'm more rebellious than I am. Ah. I don't know why I do that. Easy to live, easy. There was a girl named Olivia Green. We think she might have been friends with my brother, Jacob Silvers. I remember her. You can ask me about Olivia, but then you need to leave me alone. Okay, okay. I'll do it. <coughs> Loading. Oh, come on. <sighs> you can almost feel sadness coming off of her. Do I have to say that out loud? There was a third friend. I think he's still here. <coughs> I don't like the way she looks at me. I remember Olivia talking with Jacob. I didn't mean for her to see me transform, it just happened. Looking at her makes me regret everything I've ever done wrong. I'm not going to lie, I sort of wish we had a happier house post. You yeah, like the fat fryer we got? Dad. I'm starting to think that uh, only nearly headless snake and the fat fryer are the approachable ghosts at Hogwarts. You know, for house ghost. Then there's the bloody baron and the grey lady. Sorry, Helena Ravenclaw. Olivia Green is gone, along with Jacob Silvers. You'll need to speak with their other friend. He's still here. Wait, Jacob is Jacob's missing, going missing is one... It's like one thing even, he killed a girl and like, it's just what is going on, man. <coughs> Do you know his name? Uh. Duncan Ash. Oh. I've never heard of him. Where can we find him? Please, pretty please. Oh, pretty, pretty please. Please, we need to find him to find my brother and save my friend's sister. Maybe to save all of Hogwarts. Oh, come on, please, pretty, 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 please. You'll have to see the... <sighs> the bloody baron. Wait, what? Why? Fine, 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 sorry. The potions classroom? Okay. I'm coming. <clears throat> Oh, hi, Barnaby. I hope that isn't teacher blood on the Baron's clothes. Either way, I'm afraid to ask. I have no idea whose blood it is on the Baron's clothes. I looked it up. I mean, actually, I'm going to look it up. Slytherin has the toughest house ghost. Also the most frightening. Yep. I'm not afraid of the bloody Baron very much. Ismelda just... Everybody is, okay? <coughs> huh. He looks a lot brighter. Oh god, I'm the only Hufflepuff here. I'm, f I'm feeling awkward. <coughs> the bloody Baron is sinister. You'd better let me do the talking. Because you're so good at getting along with people? We say in all honesty, I'm pretty sure Marula can get along better with the bloody Baron than me. 
बिकॉज अनलाइक यू आई डोंट गेट रैटल वेन थिंग्स स्टार्ट टू गो बैड ओके शी इज गॉट अ गुड पॉइंट यू आर सो रेडिकुलस Whoever talks to him needs to be careful. Even Peeves listens to the bloody Baron. How does he control Peeves? Probably because he's bloody scary. Wait, why is he looking so happy about it? Get it? Get what? Pandavi, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I thought of that on the way here, and I've been waiting to say it for a really long time. It's a pun. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. I think. You just had to say I, I, I get it. I, I got it. I got it. Barambe, I got it. Oh, you're like a walking confusing concoction. Shut up, Merula. I like that. Well, okay, he is the walking confusing concoction, but I like it. It was a good joke, Barambe. Yes, he's. Just, yeah, I know, right? Huh? Huh? I like jokes with blood in them. Yeah, okay, Merula. That was your kind of joke. <coughs> Do you want me to talk to the bloody baron for you or not? Um you know what no I'll I, I'll talk to him myself. I'll talk to the bloody baron myself. I I'm not afraid. I haven't met this guy once and he's a ghost. He can't kill me. Right? Right? Good luck silvers. If you faint I won't catch you. Thanks. Excuse me, Mr. Baron. What you just gonna look at me like that? Please, I've got pretty, I've got many cold stares from Snape in this classroom. You are nothing. I wanted to ask you about a Slytherin student named Duncan Ash. <clears throat> What about him? I need to talk to him. I heard he's somewhere in the castle, and was hoping you could tell me where. The Grey Lady told me to come here. Don't judge me. He is dead. Oh. Did you kill him? No, he took care of that himself. Wait, what? You were saying he killed himself? <clears throat> so he's a ghost too. Hard to have a conversation with a dead person who isn't. Okay, okay, I see your point. Do you know where I can find him? I can send you straight to see him if you like. Oh hell no! No, please. I, I, I'm not. I'm not going to hurt you. I just mean I can tell you. I'm not going to hurt you. I just mean I can tell you about all of the places he likes to stay. Oh, great! Thank you so much, Freddy Baron. I don't know why everyone says you're so angry and terrible. Oh. Who said that? No one. Sorry. You said everyone. Okay, I take it back. Not everyone. I. Okay, I am a bit scared right now. Oh. Ask your questions so I can be rid of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. See, Virula, I did. Boo. Okay, I should not have done that. Shouldn't, shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Bloody is a strange first name, isn't it? I suppose it suits him. <clears throat> I thought for certain you were going to cry, Silver. Ha <laughs> ha! I didn't.
So Duncan Ash is friends with Peace, but he doesn't like to be seen. Sounds poetic, doesn't it? I should probably start. I should probably try searching the rooms people don't use much. The artifact room, my brother's room, Filch's office, the prefect's bathroom. Which one should I start with, Mr. Bloody Baron? Oh come on! You've already told me so much. Just give me a little boost. I understand, but it would be really helpful if. Ow. Fine. Go be grumpy. <laughs> Prefect's bathroom it is. <laughs> you were so scared, Silvers. Shut up, Marula. But I won't lie, I was a bit scared. <laughs> that was a bloody good time meeting the bloody Baron. Manabi, I got your jokes. <laughs> Get it? It's the same joke I made. It's the same joke I told before. <laughs> Look at Marula in his building. <laughs> And then my mother says repetition is boring. I love this boy. I love him. <coughs> so the bloody baron left now. Duncan Ash prefix bathroom. Okay, let's go. Hey, Bill. Hey, Charlie. Thank you for helping me look for Duncan Ash. I think I want to find this ghost even more than you do, Sarahi. Really? Why? I can't stop thinking about what Nick said about your brother and his friends believing there's a dragon in the castle. Seriously, you're thinking about the dragon? I just hope Duncan knows where to find the Marauder's map. Even though I'm afraid to find out why he hates my brother. Uh huh. Let's have a look around. If this ghost doesn't like to be seen, it could take a while to find him. He's a ghost, and it's not a very big bathroom, is it? <coughs> Bill, standing there in front of the bath is not going to help. I should be studying for my owls. Yeah, I know we all should be. I still can't believe how nice this is compared to the other bathrooms. Can ghosts breathe on the water? Now that I think of it, do ghosts breathe at all? <coughs> <coughs> Where would I hide if I was an angry ghost? So did you find him? There's no sign of him. Maybe we should try another room. Maybe he's just afraid of being found. Oh. Whoa! I'm not afraid of anything, least of all you three. Oh, I I mean um I uh, you Duncan Ash? <coughs> Who's asking? Me, uh, Sarahi Silvers. 
like Jacob Silvers? Uh, yes, uh, he is my brother. Nothing. Duncan? <coughs> I should kill you. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hold on. If Jacob stayed at Hogwarts, I would have found a way to kill him. Instead, he disappeared like the coward he is. Hey, hold up now. My brother might be a lot of things, but he isn't a coward. I was friends with Jacob Silvers from the day I got sorted until the day I died. Really? He never mentioned having a friend. Huh. He's a coward and a liar and a thief and a thug. He's arrogant, impatient, impulsive, insecure. Shut up, that's my brother you're talking about. Stop it. Leave me alone. Your brother already ruined my life. You don't get to ruin my afterlife. Okay, at this point, I'm starting to think I should say, like the, you know that uh, line in Game of Thrones, Daenerys Targaryen keeps saying, that I advise you not to judge a girl on the basis of what her father did. I'm starting to think MC should say that about now. <clears throat> Leave me alone. Your brother already ruined my life. You don't get to ruin my afterlife. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, Duncan. I don't know what happened between you, you and my brother, but I apologize. Even I don't know the whole story. I missed a lot of it while I was dying. Will you just tell me who killed you? If you ever find out, I'll feel more sorry for you. Hey! Hey, wait up! Uh, I never got to ask him about the dragon. Charlie! <clears throat> I have to find out what happened between him and my brother. Hopefully, I can make it right. Besides, it's my only chance to get my hands on the Marauder's map. Wait, we're done? Oh man, lessons? Okay. Silencio. <coughs> My dear student, make sure you are prepared. I'm prepared. <coughs> Excuse me. Quiet down now, class. It's time to begin our lesson on silencio, the silencing charm. Students caught talking during my lecture may, may find themselves experiencing it firsthand. Okay. Watch closely as I demonst demonstrate silencio. Let's continue our studies by discussing Silencio and its uses. Put your books away class, it's time for a quiz. We're already I hate quizzes. <laughs> I see the Leviosa kid is keeping up with class this time. Let's go over the effects of Silencio charm once more. Hey, I see the Leviosa kid is keeping up with class this time. He's not practicing Wingardium Leviosa. 
Maybe he finally learnt it. Take this moment to review everything you've learnt on Silencio so far. Now that we have thoroughly studied Silencio, it's time to give casting it a try. <laughs> Oops, that wasn't right. Let me try that again. Songs has gotten me to the... Never mind. <clears throat> Rovan's face looks funny. Very funny. I can't see anything. Okay, I will try winging it. <laughs> See, I did it, Rowan. That's all for today. Last is me. Whoop. Oh, hey, Ben. Now fairies. <coughs> I love fairies. Hey Liz, hey Rovan. Liz, you're sitting in Barnaby's spot. Oh fairy. Where's Barnaby? Where's Barnaby? He's supposed to be in care of magical creatures, right? <clears throat> Today we will be studying fairies. Despite their size, these creatures are exceedingly dangerous. Wait, what? It's a fairy! When it comes to the unrealistic beauty standards they, cre they create. Now let's begin. Huh? Gather around and I'll demonstrate the proper way to distract a fairy with their own reflection. What? What are you? I like fairies. They're cute. Oh, there's Barnaby. He looks so happy. What magic are fairies capable of? <clears throat> if you ever want to get your mirror back from a fairy, you better pay attention. So fairies like to look at themselves. You know, I should make them little fairy dresses. Oh. Like most creatures, fairies have needs. Unlike most creatures, that doesn't include wanting to hurt you. Oh. 
I love this fairy already. Wait, did I just walk through the log? <coughs> you think it'd be easier to tell what a fairy wants since they look human? But I take notes, fairies might be on our care of magical creatures owl. If you don't concentrate, you'll never realize what your fairy needs. <coughs> your fairy needs supplies to help it preen. Go fetch them now. What are we looking for anyway? Before you can work with the fairy, you must earn its trust. Take the opportunity to soothe it now. <clears throat> huh? But she liked that. Fairies can be picky eaters. Determine what yours likes best and tell me because I've been having trouble. It's time to feed your fairy's tummy and ego. Grab some food and watch your fingers. She likes it. No better way to familiarize yourself with the fairy than by drawing it. Well, that might be, but I haven't thought of it. I see your point, Professor. I know. I like drawing. Oh, finally. Mm -hmm. What dark you? Okay, it glitched a bit, but never mind. That chapter is done. The life and death of Duncan Ash. Duncan Ash knows where to find the Marauder's map, but he blames your brother for his death. To uncover the map's location, you'll need to uncover what happened. Uh huh. So more chapter is coming sooner. Yep. Fairy. Ooh, crap. I have a crop. Mm. 
Nye. This is gonna take a while, huh? Hey! Stop just sitting there and be adorable.